Steve Gamash once again here with a Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And this time we are reviewing the Takayuki Grand Chef Honeske 150mm knife. So this line of knives uses um, Swedish stainless steel. It's AEBL stainless, which is an excellent fine-grained, easy-to-sharpen stainless steel that uh, really is a nice, one of the nicer, um, I think, uh, non-PM uh, stainless steel. So it's an excellent steel. The uh, heat treats around 60 Rockwell on that, so not super hard, which is good because you're typically around bones and stuff with a Haneske. Remember, Haneske is a Japanese poultry boning knife, so it, it's um, you know got a fairly specific range of intended use. The construction on this is mono steel, uh, so it's a single piece of metal. There's no cladding or layers of any kind, so it's an all stainless blade. The weight is about 185 grams, or 6.5 ounces, and the Western or Yo handled Honeskes typically are heavier, a fair amount heavier than their uh, Wa or Japanese handled counterparts. Um, the edge length is about 150 millimeters right on the money, or 5.9 inches, and the overall length about 10.4 inches. The spine thickness is about three, a little over three millimeters coming out of the bolster above the back of the blade, back of the heel here. And then these, uh, most of these style knives are fairly thick, and that's the whole point of them is to be stiff, confident feeling where you can get precise in and around uh, tight spots. So about halfway down the blade, it's about 2.7 millimeters thick at the spine, and then it starts thinning down. We'll bring it in a little tighter here. starts thinning down after that, and then um, gets fairly thin. This one's quite thin right at the very, very tip there, so it should really go through uh, joints and stuff very very nicely and get in tight spots. Remember these are not meant to go through bone They are meant to go through joints and that style of uh, uh, you know deboning um, Or processing chickens into parts or not just chickens, but poultry. I keep saying chickens, but poultry in general So this is a, a fine tip on there. So that'd make it nice for smaller stuff too uh, smaller than chickens, but uh, anyway back to the stats so the uh, blade height on this one's about 41.3 millimeters, and then the handle. It I'm kind of debate here, but uh, from what I've looked at online, a few different places, I think I may change my mind on that. But a few places are saying palm resin. This could be that, but it almost looks like black pack of wood. So I think I'm going to call it black pack of wood. I'm not going to change the sheet, but it kind of looks like black pack of wood to me. It's got a lot of grain to it. Yeah, I don't think that's palm. That's a little. That's more of a resin handle. So anyway, I'll scratch that and say uh, black pack of wood. <laughs> so balance point is it's a fairly chunky handle, about right there. Fit and finish is pretty good on it. It's uh, it's really nicely done um, in terms of the look. Let's take a close up look at it. You can see um, they've got a nice kind of semi polish to it with the you know the sanding marks or finish marks going vertical on it. This is a um, non-double bevel, so it's a single bevel style uh, Honeskate, which traditional one is. So you can see we've got the blade flat here, and then it curves down and starts going into the grind down towards the edge. The back side of the blade or left side of the blade as you're holding it is basically flat, and there's a small bit of polish towards the edge, and then we've got a Fairly decent sized actual edge bevel on the, the back side of the blade as well. A lot of them will just have a micro bevel. This one has an actual bevel bevel, on the, a real bevel on the back side. And on the front side, we've got it polished down and then a uh, edge bevel on the front as well. The right side of the blade. So this is not a lefty style knife. This is a right-hander's knife. It's stiff. It's got a confident feel. The finish is really nice on it uh, all the way around. Uh, they've relieved the corners of the spine just a little bit. The choil is a little sharp, which is pretty common on a lot of these knives. So uh, you may feel the need to take some sandpaper and knock that edge down just a little bit on the corners of the choil. Your your call. Some people may, may say, ah, eh, oh, it's okay. Some people may say, I need to sand it down. So quick job with some strips of sandpaper. You can clean that up if you would like to do that. In case you have a hankering to use your Oneske blade for some other tasks on a cutting board because it's handy. Here's what it looks like on the cutting board. You do have typically have lots of uh, clearance for your fingers because of the way the handle comes in and the spine at an angle to the rest of the blade. So here is the look on a cutting board just in case you feel like dragging it out for or it's handy and you want to use it for something quick. It's uh, not going to be conducive to a lot of processing of you know veggies and stuff, but for the 
odd here or there task you may find it quite useful this one has a little bit of a kind of a stubbier handle on it and I'm going to do a comparison video with three different western or yo handled uh, Hineske knives but this one doesn't have like the hook on the the butt area for to hold your you know lock your pinky in place or your third finger depending on how you use it um, so it's a little bit more of a stubby one and it's got kind of a reverse curve here instead of coming out the other way then back around so just depends on your particular style if you have monster hands that are really wide you may find this handle a little small depending on if you like to choke up maybe you don't care or if you like it back here you might find the handle maybe not long enough if you've got really big hands so my hands are kind of smaller side of medium so and you can see where that kind of fits in it's a little it's kind of on the chunky side which is good for grip so anyway, there we have uh, a nicely finished Hineske with great uh, steel. This is the Takayuki Grand Chef series. This is their Hineske 150 millimeter knife.